night's luxury friend and our uh, adventure here in Edinburgh, Scotland continues. We have left the uh, Waldorf Astoria, Edinburgh, the Caledonian, and now we are going to spend a few nights here at a very cool new boutique property called The Principal. Principal, and we are here on uh, George Street, which I have not explored before. We are down the street from a big statue. It's a big, uh, very cool looking church next door and uh, another Georgian building over there. And I think the building the uh, hotel was in was a, a bank. Okay, so here we go into the principal Edinburgh. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Shelley. Thank you, good to see you. Right, so we Good to see you, good. Thank you, thank you very much. Nice to meet you, thank you. And I am wearing this cool antique top hat because it came with this beautiful suite here at the Principal Edinburgh George Street. So I'm gonna give you a tour of my suite, which is number 103. I'm going to take off the hat. So again, I'm here in Edinburgh, Scotland. And this is a very cool boutique hotel. The immediate vibe I got from this hotel as soon as I started talking with them about visiting was excellent. The minute I walked in the door, the vibe I got was excellent. That this is a great, cool, hip boutique hotel beautiful accommodations, and most importantly, staffed with people who both enjoy their job and care about their job and care about focusing on one thing, which is providing each guest, no matter what their agenda, what they're here for, leisure, pleasure, business, whatever, family, to make sure that that guest has the best experience possible. And I really got that vibe, I got that feeling as soon as I walked in the front door here. So again, this is my suite. This is suite number 103. The hotel is divided into two sections. The main um, central part, which I'll be showing you some other video uh, as part of this tour. The main part is a uh, former insurance bank building built in 1880. There is a wing of about 220 rooms that was built in the 1970s, kind of a modern ring wing. And then I am in uh, the suites and junior suites, which are created, which were created from three probably Regency period townhouses. So this room uh, retains the period uh, molding and details and fireplace and uh, really kind of reflects the history of Edinburgh and of this specific property. Again, these were three private mansions that have now been combined to form part of this hotel. And this painting of this lovely lady is not specifically been identified, but they they found this in one of the townhouses when it was converted into a hotel, and they believe that this was one of the former residents of one of the townhouses. So again, let me give you a tour. This is suite 103. So we have this large living area, very stylish and contemporary, very high quality furniture, you know, the couch isn't saggy and things like that. Everything is really nicely done. This hotel was uh, renovated, uh, underwent, a, I believe it was about an 18 month long renovation uh, and just reopened in November of 2016. So we have cute little touches that remind us we're in Scotland, like this silhouettes of Scottish dogs. We have the tartan on the pillow here, and then we have, I believe this is a representation of the thistle, which is the flower, the national flower of Scotland. We also have a print of Robert Bruce. 
one of the country's great poets and writers. We have these two cool display cases with uh, antique books, some antique uh, drink decanters, and some other kind of knickknacks that, again, bring the history of the building in this area into the room, including the andirons and that uh, box down there. Uh, I'm trying to think what to show you first. Uh, so we have another one of these display cases here. Again, this is the principal Edinburgh George Street, and it's called that because, as you can see here, we are right on George Street, which is one of Edinburgh's main shopping and restaurants and clubs and things like that, kind of one of the city's main uh, commercial streets. And it's a beautiful sunny day outside and uh, a lot of people out exploring the city. So again, we have this nice uh, seating area kind of in the living room here. Um, over here, we have this nice uh, hamper of local products that the hotel has kindly left for me. Uh, we have um, some pastries and cookies and chocolate that's made in Scotland and uh, apple and ale chutney. And this is some kind of interesting soda and a very nice note from the general manager. And the general manager gave me a great tour of the entire property top to bottom and explained the history of everything. And it's always great when I visit a hotel, as I was saying before, where the people that work at the hotel, whether it's the housekeeper all the way up to the general manager, have a passion, a passion for the property, for making sure it's the best it can be. And again, as I said before, for making sure that each guest has that perfect experience, regardless of why they're in Edinburgh. And the hotel also heard that I liked red wine, so they left me some nice uh, bottle of uh, Pinot Noir. So we have a work desk over here. Again, some cool uh, antique suitcases there as well as some antique books on the desk. And I was looking through these. These are actually fascinating uh, natural history books from the middle of the uh, 19th century, 1892, with all kinds of animals and plants in them. Something cool here at the principal. Now, the principal, they have, uh, I think it's three or four other properties in the UK. Uh, they have a property that they're working on in Glasgow. And I think they have hotels that are open in York and Manchester. And then they're about to open one in London. So again, they're all the principal London, the principal York, the principal Manchester. And they have a couple more that are about to open up. All kind of historic grand, beautiful hotels that have been totally modernized and uh, done in a stylish way as well. Something cool here at the principal is they have the red phone, the hotline, and instead of a bunch of different buttons for room service and valet and housekeeping and this and that and the other thing, all you do, you pick up the phone and you hit zero and it's a single point of contact for whatever it is you need. You need something brought to your room that you forgot, you hit zero and they take care of it. You want room service, they take care of that. Anything is just through that simple single point of contact to make everything easier. And I just had a fabulous um, Caesar salad for lunch. Uh, something else that's cool in all the different guest rooms is this thing called a tuck box. And uh, here in the UK, tuck means to kind of snack on things. And so this is free, complimentary little cookies and snacks and candies and things like that. So instead of putting them in the mini bar and charging you for them, they're all complimentary. Uh, you, of course, have a fancy tea service, including a uh, tea caddy to keep your tea warm. And something else that I've learned is that these principal... Uh, Look. The principal coffee mugs have images that reflect the different cities where the principal hotels are. So this is horse racing, uh, 
yeah, I think that's horse racing. And then this is a ship, and I'm not sure which principal cities those two represent. Uh, coming back into the foyer here and kind of the entryway, again, this is suite 103. We have a big closet here with a large safe and then additional storage space under here. Something interesting that I just learned is that uh, there's been some celebrity guests in this suite, including uh, recently George Clooney stayed here. So moving on uh, into the little hallway here, again we have this beautiful oil painting of a mystery lady. We step into the fancy, stylish bathroom. And look at that nice antique style soaking tub. Have the lavatory over there. Stylish vanity. At the principal they use uh, Elemis amenities. And this large marble shower here with the head, big shower head up there, as well as the wand on the wall. And again, beautiful marble walls. And this is a very cool uh, floor tile that almost looks like wood, but it's tile, I think. And then we have wide planked hardwood floors here. And then moving into the bedroom of my beautiful suite here, you can see that uh, we have these great views, again, overlooking, uh, overlooking George Street, uh, right across from the Hard Rock Cafe over there. You can see the tour buses going by. Windows are double glazed, so it's uh, very quiet. Can't hear the traffic outside at all. And uh, hopefully in the introduction to this video, you saw a beautiful drone shot of the facade of this uh, neoclassical building. The center building here used to be a uh, insurance company building. And so we have these grand Roman columns across the front of the building along with a row of flags. Big, comfortable bed. Again, reminding you that you're in Scotland with the artwork showing, I believe that's the Scottish Highlands, possibly Loch Ness. And a nice, comfortable bed with three, six, eight, ten pillows. Ten pillows. And again, the hotline phone right there. We have a cool uh, kind of a little ladies dressing table here. And this comes up with a mirror so you can do your makeup or your hair for guys or gals, not just ladies. Uh, then over here we have a seat and my luggage. We have a nice framed uh, flat screen TV and then in the bedroom here, we have another uh, wardrobe, which includes a Dyson uh, fancy fan if it gets too hot, although the room does have very nice air conditioning. And there's my drone, which uh, created the beautiful facade shot that hopefully you've already seen as the introduction to this video. So again, very stylish, large, elegant, yet comfortable bedroom here. Suite 103, the principal, Edinburgh, George Street. And as I had showed you before, one of the cool accessories is this antique beaver felt, which is the strange fur on the outside, hat which to me looks more Regency, like the early 1800s. And the hat came in this very cool traveling hat box. And the hat fits in there. And then this goes on top. And if you were rich traveling with your hat in the uh, 18th or 19th century, you have a brass plate out up the top there, and your hat fits in this which you can see was in the Royal, was on a steamship in the cabin. 
And so, very cool antique traveling hat case. So that concludes the tour. Suite 103 here at the principal Edinburgh, George Street. <laughs>